It is time for another Theme Park Coasting Top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at SeaWorld San Antonio. Starting off at number 10 we have Super Grover's Boxcar Derby and no matter whether you are looking for your first coaster or just another fun and enjoyable cred to add to the collection, then this Sesame Street themed attraction is a must do. Formerly known as Shamu Express, once boarded your very colourful but also awesome looking car, you will set off around many twists, turns, drops and airtime hills on your two lap adventure. How awesome is that? So what are you waiting for? Join all of your favourite furry friends today on Super Grover's Boxcar Derby. Are you heading to SeaWorld San Antonio on a hot Texas day? Well if so you have to take a ride on Rio Loco as they have taken the word wet to the next level. Similar to the majority of your theme park rapids you will experience many choppy waves and sudden drops being sure to make you wet. Although nothing compares to the waterfall at the end where if you are the unlucky passenger you will head straight underneath it making you not only drenched for the rest of your day but also fall in love with it and therefore we think it is perfect at the number 9 spot. There are some sea turtles in danger and it is up to you to save the day on our number 8 position Riptide Rescue where if you think you have what it takes you can jump aboard your very own Speedy Sea Rescue boat for an experience that you will never forget. In a nutshell as soon as your ride begins your boat is rocked from side to side but it does not stop there because in addition to all of this you will also be spun, risen and tilted throughout the 2 minute duration of the ride and you do not need to be a rocket scientist to know that is intense. Staying in Turtle Reef and in fact located right next door to Riptide Rescue at our number 7 spot we have Sea Swinger the park's mini gyro swing but by no means does that mean it is not intense at all as with it not only swinging you back and forth to crazy heights but due to the gondola being a lot smaller than your average gyro swing trust me when I say you will spin a lot more causing even the biggest thrill seekers in the group to hold on for dear life. Therefore with all of this and so so much more including the incredible views in my eyes this is a perfect ride for both adults and kids alike. Have you ever wanted to discover the lost city of Atlantis? Well if so you must take a ride on our number 6 spot Journey to Atlantis as even though it is not as good as the versions in both San Diego and Orlando it definitely does pack a punch. Once you have boarded your boat with the rest of your group you will begin to climb a 100 foot lift hill to the top of a hill and from here on out nothing is normal as you will then rotate 360 degrees on a turntable providing a great view of the park before dropping and rising back up again backwards to complete another 360 degree turn and then the final plummet to the bottom finishing off the ride with a splash. Top 5 work, work, and coming in for this position we have Wave Breaker where for the first time in history of roller coasters you will be able to head around all of your favourite twists and turns on a jet ski. Yes you heard me right a jet ski but despite the two launches 60 foot high and over 2600 feet of track my favourite part of the ride has got to be that you do it all over a lake making your experience so immersive and a really good fun time. Although no matter what your favourite part of Wave Breaker is I guarantee that everyone has one and therefore it 100% deserves to be at number 5. Who here loved their childhood swing 
Well, of course you did, but do you know that there is a swing for the thrill seekers out there? And that is the new for 2022 Tidal Surge. Now, with this ride being created by SNS as the world's tallest and fastest sky swing, before we even get onto the ride itself, you will know that you are in for a treat. And you would not be wrong, as once boarded with up to 39 others, you will swing back and forth until you reach 135 feet in the air at a speed of 68 miles per hour. So if this does not make you want to ride, I honestly do not know what will. Maybe a fact that similar to Wave Breaker, on this ride you will soar over a lake. Here we enter the top 3 rides at the park and taking the number 3 spot we have Great White Coaster and this B&M invert is definitely not for the faint of heart. Featuring such elements as, and get ready for it, a 81 foot drop loop, 0g roll, another loop and 2 wing overs, already this ride sounds amazing. But due to it being a B&M invert similar to rides like Batman at Six Flags Parks, throughout the entire experience your legs will be dangling. How cool is that? And therefore in my eyes a trip to SeaWorld San Antonio is not finished without a ride on the Great White. Da ding ding. You can't have a theme park without a Woody, and SeaWorld San Antonio is no exception, as taking our number 2 spot, we have Texas Stingray, where the classic wooden roller coaster has been taken to the next level. Situated amongst many trees and scenery pieces, just looking at this piece of a ride is incredible, and on ride, well... That definitely does not disappoint either, with it being the tallest, fastest and longest roller coaster in the state and throwing you in every direction imaginable, providing some incredible bank turns and airtime moments that you will never forget. The question is though, are you brave enough to ride or will you just prefer to watch it from ground level? Comment down below. We have made it to the number one spot and for the best ride at the park we have no other than Steel Eel Roller Coaster and where do I begin when talking about this ride as if I was going to talk about every great aspect we would literally be here all day. Nevertheless to start from the beginning after you have queued up the very fun queue line and boarded the coaster you will climb up a 150 foot tall lift hill and then this is closely followed by a series of steep drops, hundreds of airtime hills as well as many twists and turns along the edge of the park providing an experience that cannot be matched. So for all of this and so so much more I think it is very easy to see why this 23 year old steel hill roller coaster is still to this very day the best ride at the park. That is it from our top 10 video today. Of course you have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you would love and at the bottom there is our Patreon as well as subscribe button. But with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.